welcome it's amanda here look at what we have <laughs> we've got another recycled journal and this is the last one that i've made so far from a milk carton so i thought oh i want to make like a like as if it's a clutch bag but it's actually an art journal and again you've got the you can see that it's made from a milk carton with the the bits here and um, I have been getting some inquiries so if you're interested in me showing you how to do it I might put a mini course together with um, the different journals that I've been showing here and you can make something similar so we'll see if there's enough interest then I'll put something like that together but um, do leave a comment and let me know what you think whether you'd be interested in doing a short course it wouldn't be you know um, reasonably it would be reasonably priced but let's get on with this so I as you can see let's open it out there I was quite pleased with the way that this came together so as you can see um so this is let's come out a bit if we folded out the milk carton that's what you would have it would have additional flaps on the side which i folded over um to make the edges more sturdy and i've covered it with a piece of fabric that i had and um this has been recycled as well. It's my son's old school uniform um, and we're going back. So, you know, when he was in primary school. So we're going back at least 15 years. But the, the material that they made the uniforms in, the trousers especially, had a coat in to make them a bit sturdy and water, resist, water resistant. But a bit sturdy especially at the knees <laughs> but um but so it takes paint really nicely if you cover it with gesso it takes paint so all i've done was i covered this I, I glued it down and then i did some stitching around the edges you can see ribbon either side and as i i folded it the way that i wanted it to open so i knew that i wanted i wanted this to be held so I created a um, I stuck this down where I wanted it to go and then created a hole in the other piece and then stitched the lid so that I could close it like that so the other thing that I've done if we come to the front now is I've added can you see I've added stenciling through what's called sequin waste and I had hearts sequin waste and so I've added it um, it's gessoed but it gives you my gesso is quite thick so it gives you a bit of dimension and then I've painted it in these colors these I think these colors work really well and added beading where I could so this um, the beads here are covering where I stitched the signature so you can see here and I stitched it into this bit and then I just added the beading here but I think they look nice um, and they correspond with this um, ribbon and I've had the ribbon again for a long time and it's just again use up your supply so I've only put um, one signature in and this these are all cards and this was going to be uh, this was actually a newsletter that I was going to make into a larger journal and I had collaged it and so I thought let me just cut them up and add to this journal and on one of the pages 
so it was A4 size I'd actually done some painting in. So some of the pages have got the painting, some have got where I've collaged and some haven't yet got anything so I'll gesso these and it's again useful to use what you have, what you've got around you, what you can repurpose and there's so much paper and card that why not you know you add a bit of paint and you're you're going to be able to um, use it to do something creative and for some of the pages the thinner pages I've just added some masking tape so that's one of the you know I wanted to see what the paint was gonna how it was gonna look and the acrylic paint has kind of left a nice kind of sheen there and so yeah so that's the mini signature but it fits and what I'll probably do this would be like a more doodly I'd be doodling in this and adding marks making marks so that's a nice um, way to use this and then when I'm ready finished for the day I can close it up and there we go I think this one I, re I really do like this one the way it turned out in terms of the colors and I was just playing again with the you know the supplies that I had looking to see what has just been there sitting around and what you know if you've got paints drying up why not try and use them put them either on paper card fabric and you never know what you're then going to be able to use them for just a bit of imagination so I hope that has been useful giving you some ideas again this is a milk carton that I've repurposed and it's very sturdy you know it's very sturdy very robust and waiting to be played with <laughs> take care for now and I'll see you soon